Okay, so motor is connected and we need the join. This is the join. So let's not get this mixed up with a similar looking uh, another joint. See, this one has got slightly tapered edge. We need shape that, that is symmetrical on both sides. So that is what we will need to use. Okay, so we will need to place the motor with the dummy edge on this side and push it in. So I'm going to hit it with my plastic hammer. Okay, it should go up to here. Okay, so that is tightened. And this is the joint. We need to slide it from top. I think we can put this screw also because there is a groove to allow the screw head to pass through. So let's okay, so that is done. Now this one we need to slide from top. Yeah. Okay. It may be better to file than hammer. Make sure that it is seated. Okay. Other side. Other side again. We have to move and align. Keep the wire sufficiently slack. Now we need to put these two screws, which I will put later. Let's run our script to move the arm. Okay, so this one, both motors are just oscillating. Yes. Okay. In this test, we are only moving two motors. And we are moving the motor clockwise and anti-clockwise. So that is being tested. And we are ensuring that there is no jitter. There is, uh, the movement is smooth. Okay. In the next episode, we'll move to join three where talk